what is happening guys welcome on back to the channel is angel here and today i'm gonna show you guys how to farm crashing moonstone uh as easily as chapter six rosa isabel street entrance that's my location and the farm is these guys here on the very beginning of this area This is not a every run guaranteed. It may take you a while to get them, but they will drop crashing moonstone. As you see, we got one here. And we got another one here. So this, uh, I kind of, when I was uh, testing this farm, I kind of did it for like three, four to five times to get them to drop it. But every single time they drop, you always get about two each time. So I'm going to do it a couple more times here, see if we get any luck. But as you guys can see, we had two in the, on the first run. I did not believe it will drop it on the second round. But we'll see it. See, we got some throwing cells. And that's nice too. They are worth 107 ergo. There's six of them here. So that'll be a good farm here too. Get some uh, some ergo. You see, we didn't get nothing yet. What I usually do is I go back, use the watch, go back to the recent stargazer, and you may want to do this run for about three to four times, if not uh, a couple more, until you get it. At this point on the game, I didn't find anything else better than this but if i do i will definitely update it let's go ahead and uh, do it a couple more times here see if we get this guy to drop another moonstone here for us real quick you guys have to be patient I mean uh, do it as as long as, as you as you feel like doing it I know farming is always kind of a pain in the ass but I mean if you really want to upgrade those weapons as early as you, as you can I mean, uh, it's worth it, bro. So this is gonna be our fourth run. I believe this is gonna be our first run, and we still in, had no crash and moonstone until this point. Stable catalyst. I did not care about that. Here for fresh and moonstone. You see, we didn't get nothing again. They will drop. You just have to keep repeating, rinsing and repeating. And you also getting ergo for it. Uh, you got six of them. They will drop 107 ergo. So let's say you get about 700 ergo every time you do it so that's actually not bad it has better farms out there but and you're not just getting ergo here you're getting all the throwing cells they draw table catalyst all the other good stuff 
I found like the the guys here in the back will drop them more often than those three guys on the very beginning. See, this is our fifth round and we still didn't get nothing. We're gonna do one more. Let's see if we can get a couple more crushing moonstone to drop from these guys. Like I said, I found these guys here in the bank. More profitable. The ones will drop it more. So as you guys can see, this is definitely something that takes some patience to do with. You see, we didn't get nothing here. I'm going to do it one last time. So this was our sixth run. So we're about to do our seven run here, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's worth it getting these weapon upgrades. It's gonna help you with the progression of the game from now on. Oh god, I thought you saw me. Uh, you see, as you can see, we get another one there, Crescent Moonstone. Let's see if we get another one to drop it here on the back. And we get another one. Uh, what I've seen is every time that uh, you see one drop, and most likely another guy will drop a second one. So that's the farm, guys. If you guys know any better spot as early as this, let me know on the comments below. And uh, as soon as I will progress more through the game, if I found another spot that's better than this, I will definitely keep you guys updated. But for now, that's the best one I find so far. So. If you guys like the video, hit that like and subscribe button and turn the notifications on so you guys will not miss anything from Fighting Angel and uh, from Lies with P Guides. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys on the next one.